What's up everybody? B-Boy Spaz here. Um, and we're going to be looking at some reason stuff. Um, first off, I have to apologize. I still don't have all my stuff unpacked, so the audio quality on this might be a little all over the place. As well as, since I'm in a bigger city now, you might hear some craziness going on outside. So just excuse all that noise. But um, anyways... So, I finally, finally picked up a copy of Reason 4. I'm all late, I know. But, um, I've been playing around with the Regroove Mixer, and I wanted to just, you know, share a little bit about what you can do with it and ways that I thought of using it that would be cool. So, what we're looking at right now, so I have Reason here. I got an NXT, and I have it set up with the drums separated down here, like I normally do. I have a tutorial on that as well. And... I'm just using live for this sample, which is of one of my favorite video games. Um, if you play video games at all, I'm pretty sure you'll know what it is. But basically, the regroove mixer is a way to apply different grooves to your drums. And in grooves, I mean, you know, a lot of times we can play around with quantizing, but a groove is going to give us a certain feel, you know, like. If I play drums, I'm not just going to play a straight beat and that's it. You know, I'm going to put some feeling into it, like if I'm playing funk or something, especially if it's going to be hip-hop. So the regroove mixer helps a lot with that. So to turn this thing on, you come down here, just a little button, and it'll show you your regroove mixer. Basically, you have different banks, A through D, and you have eight in each. And right here on the folder is where you would load up a certain type of groove. So if I hit that, and let's say I wanted 72% groove shuffle from the NPC stuff or something, I would load that up. And there was some noise. <laughs> but also I have the groove, how much of it, a slider. This is how behind or ahead of the beat it is, and shuffle, and different things like that. Now basically to apply these different grooves, you're going to want to use your lanes here. So you see if I hit this, I can go to A1, which is that 72% shuffle. So the way I started using this, so I have my drums here. And what you can actually do, since the grooves go for different lanes, you can actually make new lanes and record each part separately. By doing that, it's going to enable you to give a fill and a groove to each separate part of the drums, making your drums sound really, really lifelike and just really cool. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and play the sample, and I'll start adding drums to it. And I'm going to start out with my kick, so I'm going to name just kick drum. I'm going to start halfway in the sample. There we go, I just laid down my drums, I'm gonna quantize them by 50%, whatever. There, quantize. So now, I'm gonna hit this here, make myself a new lane, and I'll put my claps in.
So now I have all my drums programmed and I have them on different lanes. And like I was saying earlier, because of, because of that, I can come through in A1, A2. And I can separate everything if I wanted to, which is really cool. Now check out how I can change the way this sounds. So, did y'all hear the difference on that? It was really just, it's really grooving and swinging now. It's really gonna fit with the sample and everything. So that's basically a quick look at the regroove and what you can do with it. Um, yeah, let's listen to it one more time. So definitely check out the regroove. You can do awesome things with it. Don't forget to subscribe to the page. I'm going to keep having tutorials. I'm going to keep hitting y'all with all that, you know, knowledge for your music production. And if you have any questions, just hit me up. And yeah. All right. Peace.